Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltech Technically Speaking. We're back today with Adam from our Kentucky USA office, and today we're going to be having a look at our short and long term fuel trims using the Haltech Elite Series platform. So today we're talking about the Haltech Elite Closed Loop O2 Control using the Haltech ESP software. So the way O2 Control works is you get your target air fuel ratio table that you program for the engine to run all the air fuel ratios at every cell in the map. Um, you also get your wideband O2 readings. Um, that shows you what the engine is actually running at in that current cell. And when you get a difference between your target air fuel ratio and your actual air fuel ratio, you get an air fuel ratio error, either rich or lean, and it tells you how much, how many air fuel ratio points you are off from your target. Um, when that happens, closed loop O2 control, the short term fuel trim, starts to apply changes to the engine in real time to get back to your target air fuel ratio. Once that's achieved, or if you go over a 3% correction, either plus or minus, that starts to apply into your long-term fuel trim table. And then you can go back and look at your long-term fuel trim table and see what changes were made and apply those into your base fuel table. So we're gonna fire up our 2JZ engine for this demonstration. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add 10% to our base fuel table the ECU's self-learning capabilities are going to recognize that it's overfueled and start to remove fuel from the tune in the short-term fuel trim. And as soon as that gets beyond 3%, that will start applying into the long-term fuel trim table. So Scotty's going to show us the ECU learning the long-term fuel trims and applying changes to this table. Once it's started to learn and given us some values, we can actually go into the main setup and we can apply those changes in that map to the base fuel table. And the base fuel table will take those changes and the long-term fuel trim maps will go back to zero and start learning again. So now that we're finished with our demonstration, we're gonna talk about the Haltech ESP self-learning features that it can do. So the Haltech Elite and the ESP software allow for O2 control self-learning, idle control, boost control, and not control self-learning. Now, all of these functions with their self-learning are meeting a target that the user sets. And that's what puts the Elite Series ECU and the ESP software on the cutting edge of engine management. Well, Adam, thanks so much for making the journey here all the way from our Kentucky USA office. And thanks for showing us through the closed loop O2 control. As always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>